Hey, buddy. We're chopping ones that are glued to the ground. Yeah. So there you go. I can't even kick it, but it, this one vibrated it. Oh, that's a good idea. Just enough to get it loose. So what are you guys doing then? Um, we're cleaning the driveway so that we can go to Jean's house. Yep. We've got to clean the firewood out of the driveway because, well, this is where we unloaded it in the fall. <laughs> and it, here it has stayed. But that was after we after we moved the truck over there to, to move some other stuff. And we just don't use the truck in the winter time because it doesn't work very well in the winter time. It takes at least 20 minutes to warm up. It's got some carburetor issues. Yeah, you and, should uh, start it right now. Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> hey, you've got some charcoal on your face. Yeah, yeah he has a half mustache. Oh, <laughs> that's on yeah. purpose? <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, I'll go start the truck. All right. Well, at least the door is not frozen shut like it is sometimes. Oh, this whole thing definitely has some issues. I even uh, sometimes cancel the insurance for six months at a time because it really does not like cold weather. We shall see, though. Sounds pretty normal. It's a pretty good, <laughs> pretty good sound. Although I can hear it starting to falter. What it is is there's a. I'll show you. I can never remember how to do this. There we go. Okay, so here's the problem. This gets stuck, stuck close, so it doesn't allow enough air to get in. So here it is. This little thing gets stuck right here. And it's supposed to flip on like this, and which opens this, opens the, the valve. And anyway, it gets stuck closed and it's supposed to kind of click open. That's supposed to click open when it warms up and it's just not doing that. Maybe it just needs some uh, WD-40. Actually, I'll go do that right now. But first, Everett needs my help. What? Um, can that log, can it fit, can the truck fit through here without hitting that log? Oh, uh... Probably not. I'll probably run over those things. So, need help moving that? Yeah. Alex, do you like doing this kind of work? Yeah. Why? Because it's fun. What makes it fun? I don't know. <laughs> I like it too. I agree. It is fun. Okay, I'll video you. Um. Oh. Okay. I didn't bring gloves, but... Dad, do you want to use mine? Uh, I don't think oh, you'll fit them. I don't them. think I'll fit either. Yeah, let's see if this one. And here's our metal recycling pile. <laughs> Gotta get rid of that, don't we? Oh, that was easy. Mm -hmm, nice. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Just a few more. I could have hit Dad over it. Dad, can you video now? Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can fix the truck. 
I'm actually doing okay right now. As long as that thing stays there. See, it's working now anyway. Now I'm gonna see if I can figure out how this goes back on. All right, that's done. The boys are almost ready as well. Wow, such hard workers, I'm so proud of them. Thank you. Can you help us with this giant log? Yeah. Ooh, that's a big one. Is it a not cut, is it? Just right there. Okay, yep. I'll help. Ever said he's got this one on his own. This elm is pretty heavy. It's still very wet. And it also has snow and ice on it. Which makes it even more wet. But my strong boys are doing great. Got great work ethic, Everett and Alex. Do you know what that means? No. What's that mean, Everett? I don't know. <laughs> means that you know how to work hard and have fun doing it. Yeah? You're smart. That means I didn't know what it means. <laughs> means that you work until it's done, even if it's hard. That's what good work ethic is. It is fun, huh? As long as they're not giant. As long as they're not giant, yep. You still do? Yep. You figure out a way to do it, huh? Even if it's hard. <laughs> Our wood pile is varied and spread out. This is uh, like urban sprawl, but the country version. <laughs> but it's nice to have wood. You know, I mean, some of it's ugly, but I still can't get myself to throw away a piece of, you know, 100 year old wood, even if it is painted and and peeling and uh, with holes in it. You know, that, that can be used for, for stuff. And uh, anything I can't use to make something out of uh, just becomes firewood. And it's just nice to have extra firewood at all times. But eventually, this will all be cleaned up nicely, organized better into a very nice looking pile. <clears throat> Or a series of piles. Right um, but uh, what, buddy? Like what we're doing? It's being nicely in a pile. Yeah, it is nicely in a pile, Everett says. Yeah, it is. But we'll get it stacked and split, or split and then stacked. Not stacked. <laughs> Eventually, it's huh? Pile. Yeah, but uh, we've got to prioritize our lives because uh, there's a lot going on. Not the least of which is the fact that our house is not done. So once we get the house done, I think everything everything will come together a lot quicker. Yeah, it would be nice to have a tractor, wouldn't it? Make us one, buddy. What? Make us one. That'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Alex is always making. I know. Alex is always making stuff out of Legos that really would work in real life. We just need to buy a few hydraulic rams and. Uh, motors and and teach me how to weld. Oh yeah, you've seen me do it enough times. You you probably know how to do it, right? No, I don't. You don't? It's kind of, it's kind of scary the first time welding, but yeah, we'll we'll do first that soon. Time you were gonna teach me. 
We didn't have any of that. Oh yeah, we ran wires. out of the wire last what time I was gonna teach you. For? The wire? Yeah, I forgot. The wire is actually what comes out of the welder and melts it and melts to yeah. Oh. Because if it just melted the metal that was there, it would oftentimes it yeah take wow. it away. It would take it away and sometimes burn a hole, but so that just adds extra metal to it. I think we're very, very close. Let's just get those sticks out of there that would maybe pop the tires, and then we'll be good. All right, uh, driveway's cleared out, truck is warmed up, milk is filtered, cheese is made. Now it's time to go. See you in a minute. All right, we're back. We got this wood unloaded, and it's, it's beautiful wood. Um, got different types here. These are all from a, a barn that was built in the 1880s. And uh, our friend was able to salvage it and she used a, a bunch for her house and it looks amazing. Really, really nice, very fancy. With a decidedly um, you know, Western feel to some of these rooms. Or, or shabby chic, I, I guess, would probably be more accurate. Anyway, we are planning um, something similar probably to my art studio. We'll make walls That are covered in this beautiful barn wood man. This is nice stuff and it would be very very expensive If we were to to buy it, so we're very grateful for this. Wow. What a treasure what an absolute treasure and also some some cedar fencing that Was a leftover from a project anyway? I don't know if you'll be able to see me here, but uh, all right. Okay, so uh, thanks for joining us today. It's too dark to uh, show much else, but uh, we'll leave you and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow when we start on this and other projects. Bye bye. Ah, little monsters.